Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another session of Ask Zak with myself, Zak, and my trusted colleague, Sean. Well, good evening, people. Now, tonight we want to talk about uh, ruminant supplementation, and especially in the summer months, why do we need to do it? Now, first of all, when it comes down to our ruminants, our pasture management, your grazing, your caps, those things, you need to be on top of it. Uh, we need to understand how it works and why and how it's put together. That's going to help us to choose the right product, make sure our animals stay in the right condition right throughout the year. Now, something that I just want to mention, uh, we're not in the uh, summer yet, we're just in the last throws of winter, but if we took a look at our protein content, example, we're here in the high felt, protein content in the summer months is close to 20%, depending on what grazing you have. But in the winter months, it falls down to even as sometimes as low as 3%. So with that knowledge, you know you need to adjust your supplementation for your animals because they need a certain amount of protein, certain amounts of uh, uh, minerals to be able to pre be productive. As soon as they are short of that, of course, you're going to start running into production problems. Another thing to take an account, of course, is the quality of your grazing. Uh, if you overgraze your lands, uh, if your fields too much, uh, your more hardy grasses are going to take over. Now with those hardy grasses, your nutrient content in those plants are much lower than your juicy, nice grass that your animals need to take up. So, uh, yes, the feed is their supplementation, but it's just as crucial for you as farmer to make sure that you manage your pastures pastures, that you do not overgraze them, that you give them time to rest and recuperate. Otherwise you're damaging that and you're making your whole life a lot harder. And that is actually so important because a ruminant needs those fibers for that rumen, uh, as we say, to action to take place and for the animal to stay healthy. Now when it comes to minerals, uh, Sean, there are quite a few minerals that we always talk about, but if you just have to touch on a few, why are a few of these minerals that you're going to mention important and what role do they play and why is it important for the farmer to know about them? Well, Zach, very important. These minerals, we have minerals that uh, play an important ro role in your production. We have minerals such as phosphate. In our country, in South Africa, we have a shortage of phosphate in general. So our grass, and even as green as it may be, it's short of phosphate. So we need to always supplement. The reason why we supplement on phosphate is for your production to go well. And then on top of that, we need to add some selenium. Selenium is very key in your uh, fertility to increase your production, to make sure that you use lamb as many times as possible in one year. So, and one other point is that we need growth. Your growth requires proper stature. Stature comes from bones. Bones require calcium, very important, pro uh, very important mineral. We need some calcium, so we also supplement for that. But then those bones need some more meat on them, and that meat is protein. We need to supplement uh, our protein. We supplement that via urea. The reason being, uh, your grasses in summer may be as many as much harvest as there is, but then the protein content is very low. So that's why we put in a little bit of urea in there to up the protein level and keep the protein up there so that your animals do not lose condition. Zach said before, your management, your management is very important to keep your animals in good state. Now, to address all those needs, we had also have a few products, licks. When we're talking about specifically licks, we're not trying to feed the animals, we're looking at utilizing our grazing and keeping our costs as low as possible and that's why we supplement uh, uh, with licks now in our lick range we've got two forms first form is of course the mash uh, that's already uh, mixed with salt and that you throw out in a, a bowl for the animals to lick or you have the uh, the block literally the uh, the 20 kilogram block that you put out for the animals so first of all if you now in winter of course we look at our winter lick High in urea, as uh, you know, Sean mentioned earlier, because we need to break down that dry cellulose and let the animal utilize it and, of course, assist with protein production. Now, when we go over to our uh, winter months, our, our summer months, we are looking at our mineral lick. Now, Sean just mentioned it a little bit earlier. That's our phosphate lick. It's high in phosphate, of course, with all the other nutrients that you need. 
uh, and that you uh, need to give the animals in summer months, so very important. We can still be on the uh, winter lick now, but we start looking at uh, six weeks after the first good rain, then you're grazing, you know you've got a difference and you can start using the mineral lick. On the blocks, we've got uh, the equivalents. Our uh, protein lick would be the equivalent of our winter lick. It's high in protein, of course, because our field is very low in protein content. And of course, our mineral lick is the one uh, that uh, basically mash and uh, block form, which is, of course, for our uh, summer months. Very important, high in phosphate, and of course, all your trace elements that you need. Then, of course, last but not least, for our to a little bit more focused is our sheep lick block. Uh, we've got ammonium chloride there. Now, uh, when we talk about ammonium chloride uh, in sheep and goats, uh, why is ammonium chloride so important for them? Well, so we speak about it all the time as if it's just a, a nice song. But the reason why it's a nice song is that we want to make sure that your bucks and your rams do what they're meant to do to make you have more production. Uh, ammonium chloride reduces, it dissolves what we call kidney stones. It dissolves them from actually happening and creating losses and loss of production in your, in your head. So that ammonium chloride helps reduce and remove kidney stones from your head so that all the time your bucks and your rims can give you as much production as possible. So yeah, as you say, mainly focused on male animals and it will not be a detrimental to your females. Not at all. So that's why we work it into all our sheep and goat feed to make sure that our animals are safe. But now, uh, yes, that we talk quickly and there's a lot of information and there's actually so much more for you to learn. Now, uh, on the learning trend, uh, Sean, you and the team, you busy training farmers with farmers days. Where are you guys busy this coming week? This coming week on Thursday, we are in Polokwane for a Ulea and Broiler Information Day. We're going to be learning each and every possible thing about layers and broilers. Bring your questions, bring yourselves, bring your minds so that we can work together. So this is on this Thursday, meet us at Polokwane Alzu Depot. And then the other one is in Trichat. Please book a seat on each, at each, any one of these two so that you can come and learn with us so that we can grow better. One other important thing, if you don't see us enough, Always follow us on our page and on our Instagram, on our Facebook page, Instagram, there's always information. If you have more questions, pop in, tell us, ask us, we are ready to help. And just to link up with you, that one in Trichart is going to be on our sheep and goats. So if you've got ruminants in that area, please make a turn. Uh, there's going to be a link up with what we said today uh, much more. Uh, and of course, those are free of charge, as you Definitely. said. Definitely. Free, free of charge. We just need you to just tell us that you're coming so we can book a space for you. And then please bring all your energy. Bring all your energy because we want to grow. We want to grow with you. So come join us on this Thursday, Trichart and Polokwane. So um, from our side, until next time, uh, next week, same time, same place, and with a new subject and of course knowledge to share. Uh, see you then. Definitely see you then. Cheers.